Hello, we are back. Friday, yeah, and this will be a second part of that video. With that motherboard, the chip just arrived, yeah, the Super IO. And um, let's see how we can replace quickly a Super IO chip. And let's see if it's working, yeah. Remember last video? So the Super I was shorted. So how do we replace this big chip quickly? Quickly and safe. What do we have? We have a special tool for Super I. This We are using this only for Super I chips. Yeah? Because we can grab the chip out. We did, this is a bent tweezer. Yeah? You get a normal tweezer and you bent it and you have this tool. So uh, let's remove this first. And after that, we can solder back the other one. Uh, let me start the microscope. Okay. We need this. We need some flux. Chip position is like that. Okay. How hard can be? You can... Uh, the way how you have to do it, it's on the way which is safe for uh, which is safe for your trucks. You don't want to break your trucks, yeah. Okay, so what we will use, we will use very high temperature. It'll be like a quick injection, you know, fast one, and uh, five hundred degrees. Let's see. Microscope. Okay, it's working. Let's see. So that's a super IO. It is on focus. Okay. So let's remove this chip quickly and fast, yeah? We need a plan, so how we'll take this out like that, okay. Now, you have to be kind of careful. Because it's very easy. You know, the, the things can go wrong very easily. So just be careful you lift it up. Okay, so that's the chip. That's the Super IO. We took the chip out nicely. Yeah. Okay, this is the burned one. So it's nothing to clean here. Yeah. We have flux there, and we have solders on. Uh, we have solder on uh, on the on the truck, so it's nothing to clean. Absolutely nothing, yeah. I know some people they have obsession with cleaning them, but it's nothing to clean here. So we'll get the brand new chip, which is here inside of this. I believe this is the fastest, the fastest way to replace a chip, a super IO. Okay, so we have the new chip here. Now the, the chip position is very important. Okay. So if you have to pay attention, pay attention on the chip position and how the chip uh, pins are coming on the board should be aligned perfect, yeah? If it's not aligned perfect, you'll have probably problems. Yeah. What do I need? I need a small nozzle. Okay. That's fine. Air. What about air? Same 500 degrees. Let's say half air. 50%. That's good. 
So again, what is important, the chip position. Okay. Chip position. Looks fine to me. Looks fine. So let's start. What we will do, we'll resolder only the pins. No, I'm not right. I'm not okay. I'm not... Okay, it was nearly, nearly to do a mistake. I hate this flux. Okay, I think we have one pin solder there, which is not good. Good. I hate this flux. I should use my one. But I'm trying to do just a quick thing. Yeah, it's hot. You know, the things get changed. So you align the chip now, yeah? The things get changed actually when you apply heat. Applying pressure is fine. Let's see if we can, uh, if we apply heat, what will happen, yeah? It's good, it's good, we are fine, we are fine. We are fine. Now let's try. On the other side, here. Yeah, we are fine. It's not perfectly aligned, but it's still fine, still okay. The next row. Yeah, we are okay, we are okay. The next one. Okay, there we have a pin with a problem, but I don't get it. What what happened here? Was like that or huh? What happened there? What? Why do we have that bent pin? Hmm? Why? Because I did nothing wrong. Okay, I think I have to grab out that pin first, and after that. Yeah, and now we can bend it back. Because you have no control on the pressure, you know, the pressure applied to the pin. Uh, if you are not careful, the, the, you, can, uh, you can break some pin here. But then just try to be careful. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's fine. That's okay. Let's try now. Let's try now. And seems to be fine.
Yeah, my pin is fine. What do you think? Any solder. Okay, the next step. Next step. I just use a bit more flux and I will uh, redo the solders one more time. Yeah. Because we have to be sure that all the pins are soldered. I think that's the easy way to replace a super I.O. Okay, and the other half. Seems to be fine. Let's clean and uh, I will use alcohol now. Let's clean, study the, the solders and we are go we are good to go. I see. Huh? So what do you think? I think it's each pin is soldered. Uh, you know the problem is because of the it's a recording because it's a camera there you can't really see the solders, but I can see them very very clear, very very clear. Yeah, it all seems to be fine. Yeah. We are fine. If we are not fine, we'll uh, resolder manually. But hopefully it will work. Do we have short anymore? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, multimeter. Dial mode. On the BIOS, pin number 4 and pin number 8, and we have no short. Yeah, now let's see what kind of current the port is taking with the new chip. That's the old one 19 volts minus plus. We remember we have 160 milliamps. For 170 milliamps of ground plus, and is taking 19. I can't believe I just burned the, sh the chip. Hmm. I touch with the plus in the middle pin. This is so. And now the chip is shorted, yeah? P number four, P number eight. It's not shorted. Okay. So why is taking same amount of power? Hundred seventy milliamps. Because of this, the blow up thing. One more time. Let's check. And this output of this chip. Yeah, it's short to ground. So 3.3 .3 is shorted. Uh. 
Okay, let's remove this uh, thing from here, this chip. We can speak later about this one. Still short. Still short. Okay, three point three. Three volts. That's kind of weird, you know. So we don't have short on BIOS anymore, but we have short on the three point three from the from here, the output of this. Yeah, the chip is gone. Yeah. Okay. I suppose I just burn it. What a waste of time. Because because I touched the middle pin with 19 volts. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now it's time to order a new one and hopefully next time I will not do the same mistake. Can't believe. So I just touched with the power supply the middle pin from the charging port. That's insane. That's insane. Hmm. One more time, buy a ship. And it's not shorted. Okay, so I suppose the voltage for the bio chip is coming from a different pin from that chip from the super IO. Oh, sorry, it's not shorted. Wow. Okay, how you can burn a chip like in one second? Yeah. Okay, I will do upload this video just for the others to learn from my mistakes. So I believe when I touch with the plus, the minus plus, and you have the middle pin, when I touch with, by mistake, I touch the middle pin with 19 volts. And uh, probably that's the point when the chip get, got burnt. Yeah, this is a just it's because of the design, you know. It, it will not happen on like HP or Dell. No, on Lenovo. If you break the charging port on Lenovo, you will end with that that super IO. That's stupid. Yeah. I was so happy because it's Friday. Okay, see you next time. I'll order another chip. Bye.